Hello everybody, my name is Rick Dangerous and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series. I am going to be playing the game Valheim. Uh, it is July of 2021, so the game is very much still in early access. Uh, I, this is before the Hearth and Home update, so um, this video is going to become dated very soon. Uh, but this is going to be a Let's Play series, um, as well as hopefully a guide and um, tips and tricks, which, which are most of my videos in games. I, I tend to do a Let's Play, but I sprinkle in a lot of knowledge and a lot of tips and tricks along the way. Uh, so I'm not going to be fast forwarding or skipping ahead. It's going to be a straight playthrough of Valheim. Uh, but I will be discussing a lot of information during the playthrough. So feel free to skip ahead as needed. I also recommend always playing my videos on two times speed so you can get twice as much content uh, much more quickly. So the very first thing in Valheim is to talk to the bird. I am not going to read everything the bird says, but he's your little guide and uh, gives you instructions on what to do next. Do not forget to activate this uh, stone here. This will tell you where the first boss is. So the first boss is right here, and we're over here next to the stones. Uh, and I'm always going to talk to the bird when available, but I don't really need to um, read what he says because I already know, know what he says. Uh, so we're going to run around here and pick up uh, stone, wood. I have my uh, settings down pretty low for the grass so that I can see more. Uh, so it's just a little easier to see um, stone and wood on the ground as well as uh, I've been having trouble with my computer overheating so it just helps having less graphics render. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some berries. So you can see my health in the bottom left. I just ate berries. What that did is it increased my max health. So um, I believe your health will tick up a little bit slowly. Um, and depending on the type of food you eat, uh, will make it tick faster. Here's just an abandoned structure. We need to find some wood on the ground, or we can just punch trees to get the wood as well. Uh, every time you discover something new, the bird's going to want to talk to you. Kind of tell you what different ingredients can make things. But I'm going to focus right now on um, wood, stone, flint. I need to get a stone axe soon. Boar and deer are going to be a priority, but I'm going to hang off on trying to kill deer until I get the bow, because it just makes it so much easier. Um, so rather than try to sneak up on deer to kill them right now, I'm going to focus on other things. So I'm going to go ahead and eat mushrooms as well. You can have three different types of food at once. So right now I have mushrooms and berries that are consumed, which means I can eat one more other type. So I can make the stone axe already. Uh, and I don't need all these torches. I don't, I'm not a big fan of torches. I'm going to drop those. So we got the stone axe. I'm going to use that as a weapon. You do run faster when you don't have a weapon equipped. So I'm going to press R to put my axe away when I'm not using it. I'm just going to follow the coast. That's where you get flint. Um, flint is a slightly higher uh, tier item than stone and wood. Oh, you're going to need it for uh, next level upgrades and stuff, so I'm just going to grab the flint now while I see it. Uh, one thing about this game is, uh, so obviously there's biomes. We're in the meadows right now. You can see that in the top right. Um, the meadows are fairly safe, so even at night. So, like, I, I played this game immediately after playing the forest. Um, and the forest is a game where, like, you know, everything's out to kill you. Nighttime is super um, risky. Uh, 
you know, it, it's just, uh, it's not a game where you want to be out at night without a house. Valheim, you don't really need to rush and make a house that quickly. Um, you can get away with uh, kind of being a nomad at first, and as long as you stay in the meadow, you're kind of safe. Um, so I'm more concerned about running around and collecting berries and exploring than I am about building a big structure right now to sleep in. Like, that's just not my priority right now. Um, so I, I like to hug the coast so I can kind of um, scout the continent that I start on. And boar is the biggest priority right now. Um, we are going to need a lot of hide from the boar. Um, so anytime I see a boar, that's the priority. I'm going to go find him and attack him. And the stone axe is perfectly fine for that. I should chop a tree soon and get a club, which would be better. Uh, if you get wet in this game, your stamina regenerates more slowly, so I'm not going to run in the water to get those flint. I'm going to hang out up here rather than get wet. So let's make the club and the hammer. And these three items that I just made, the club, the hammer, and the stone axe, I believe that's pretty much all you can make without a um, workbench. Uh, so next we're going to need a workbench. Okay, and there's a beehive. This is good because we want to get a queen bee. So the trick on getting a beehive early in the game is we're going to make a workbench. So we need some more wood. Let's go ahead and get some wood. Okay. And I am going to... Oh, a little more wood here. Hang on. I'm going to make a workbench and I'm going to rip apart that structure and once the beehive no longer has um, support it will uh, fall to the ground and the queen bee will come out. So I'm just going to put a workbench right here and press on my hammer and choose the hammer option. Let's talk to the bird first. Okay and right or middle mouse button will delete uh, pieces of a structure that's within range of the workbench. Um, and the bees are actually attacking me because they're angry. But this is another way to get uh, a lot of good wood as well. If you just take out the supports, the structure will na naturally fall over. So I think that no longer has structure, correct? So it's going to slowly fall apart, and the honey and the beehive will fall out. And I can also destroy this chest and the floor for lots of free wood. And all that costs to use the hammer is stamina. So we got a queen bee already. And I'm done with this workbench, so I'll destroy that. Another nice thing in this game is you get all your resources back. So uh, when you destroy something, you get the resources back that you needed to make it. So we got a queen bee very early. That's nice, because we're going to be able to make a beehive which will produce honey, and a lot of um, items in the game will require honey. A lot of the food items, I should say. So again, following the coast, prioritizing on boar, berries. You can see my berry and my mushroom in the bottom right are beginning to blink. That means I'm slowly uh, running out of that food so I can eat more. So seven and eight will eat. And again, I'm not um, super concerned about going out. I made this mistake. Well, I won't call it a mistake. You play the game how you want to play it. Uh, this this guide is going to be more about efficiency and speed. By no means is it going to be a speed run, but it's just going to be like I want to progress. I want to do mostly the bare minimum to progress. I'm not going to build a giant log cabin here just for fun and you know spend a whole episode building a log cabin eventually i will but i'm just not ready to make a house yet this isn't where i want to build i need to scout my surroundings first 
Um, so again, this is a game where you can actually spend the first couple days just running around and scouting if you want to, and that's what I'm going to do. I hear more bees, so this is great. We're going to get another beehive. Same situation. We put down a workbench and just demolish the building. This building is going to go down fast because it has four little posts. It's just going to fall apart. So that should start to crumble now. Unless there's a post in the middle. It doesn't look like it. And I could speed up the process by using the hammer as well, which I will do. So there go down goes the beehive. I'll break down the workbench. And again, tons of free wood. And I should get another queen bee out of this. Yep. So I got two queen bees, which means I can make two hives. And yeah, without even really chopping many trees, I already have... Um, I already have enough wood that I'm almost full on uh, my weight capacity is 267 of 300 you can see here. So These stones, uh, tablets, read like a cryptic message about the game, but they're not really required. So I'm going to just read those when I see them and just skip past them. I think they just mostly give you tips. But again, all this can change. This is very, very early access. Um, a lot of things are going to change over the months. So this is Black Forest. I'll run in there so we can see it. Give us the name there, Black Forest. Um, this is the next biome. I'm going to kind of hug the outer side of the Black Forest, but not actually go in yet. Because again, I'm just scouting. I'm not ready to explore the Black Forest. I'm undergeared for that. I will run in briefly just to get some blueberries since I see them. Uh, but I'm not going to run very far into the Black Forest. And again, I'm saving myself a lot of time by getting boars every time I see them. I'll switch to my club for this guy. So a grayling is um, from the meadow, actually, not the black forest. And you can look up there, you can see the pine trees and the different types of trees, the fir trees. That's all black forest up there. It looks like this river separates it. So I'm just going to run the edge, keep looking for uh, structures, berries, things like that. Okay. Looks like more black forest up there. But as long as I'm in the meadow, I'm perfectly fine. I see a structure down here. Let's go check this out. This looks like multiple structures. It's like a little farm. This won't be a bad place to set up a base because it's right next to the black forest. So nothing in there. I like to leave the door open so I know I already explored it. Okay, we got a chest and a bed in here. And we can reuse these structures for our own house, which I highly recommend. Saves a lot of wood. At least early on. I mean, I'm going to build a really nice um, long house at some point. But again, I'm not ready to start doing massive build projects. I think there was one more house to look at. Down here. No, that door is open. That door, that door. I guess I guess there was three. Where did I look in here yet? This one didn't have a door, that's why. And I'll leave the uh, torch in there. I don't need it. So I'm going to mark this as, um, on my map, I'm going to make a mark. Actually, let me go get this boar first, because again, boar hide is the priority. And we actually might have enough now, probably, to make the crude bow. And it is getting dark, so let's make a very small shelter here, temporarily. Um, so we'll close this door. 
So the workbench only has a few options available. Unless it's under a roof, then you get a lot more options. So now that it's under a roof, we get all these more options. So we can make a crude bow already because I got eight leather scraps. I have 10 total. That's from killing all those boar. So I do want to get the bow as soon as possible. I have all these flint head arrows from looting chests. I'm just going to right click to make that my default arrow. Um, I don't really need to build much at all in here. Uh, it's already an enclosed house. I could take my hammer and just click to repair everything and it's free to repair. Uh, it doesn't cost wood. So every section of this house that I click on basically repairs for free. All it costs is a little stamina. Um, but again, in this game, like you don't need to be too worried, at least early on, that enemies are going to come out and like attack your structure. Um, I'm really just doing this now for cosmetics. Uh, but one thing I will do is I'll rip out this roof here with the middle mouse. I'll rip out that floor and I'll put a campfire down because the campfire has to be on solid ground. And then what I'll do is I'll come out here and I'll build um, under the building tab an angled roof structure and I'll just angle it there. So what that's doing now is allowing the smoke from the campfire to leave the house otherwise I would die from smoke and it's also got a roof over it now so that rain won't put it out. Okay so this is just like a little temporary house. I can put a bed in here and sleep if I want um, and I'll mark this as uh, first home Okay, and it's almost nighttime. Typically, I would just uh, play through the night, uh, but for the viewers of this video, you don't want to see me running around in the dark all the time, so I will sleep to pass time. If I use the workbench, I can click this repair item button a bunch of times, and it repairs every item for free, so that's nice. Um, I am going to keep moving, though, after the morning, so I'm not going to put a bunch of stuff in chests. Uh, although it looks like I can, I can build a chopping block real quick. Let's do that. And I think I can upgrade my, um, now that I have a workbench level two, I can upgrade some things. I can also make a flint ax. So let's make the flint ax. And that's gonna be better than the stone ax. So I'm gonna put the stone ax in this chest. And now let's see what we can upgrade. So if I click the upgrade tab, I can upgrade the flint axe. I have just enough leather scraps to do that. And I can upgrade the hammer. And the club is gonna require bones and the bow is gonna require um, more scrap and deer hide. And I need more uh, hide to make armors and things. So this is a great start. I got the flint axe already, the crude bow, lots of arrows, got some good food, I got some honey, queen bee. So again, I'm going to keep moving. Um, I'm not going to uh, make this like a forever home or anything. So let's go ahead and make two of these and cook this meat. Okay. And I'll make a bed while we wait. And to sleep, you just need a bed and a campfire. So that's good. Okay. So it's nighttime. You can tell it's getting dark. If you leave this food on too long, it'll um, turn to charcoal, which we don't want to do. I'm going to go ahead and sleep to pass the time. And I did put some neck meat on the uh, fire. So in the morning that should be cooked. I do like how it doesn't turn to charcoal. It just it uh, makes it co cooked for you. Okay. So that was a nice little first house. Since I have so much wood and it's easy to get, I'm, I'm going to leave all this stuff here. Except maybe the chopping block because that uses flint. So I will take down the chopping block and get those resources back. 
But I'll leave the bed and the fire pit and everything. And the stuff that I don't want to bring on my travels or I may never need again, I'll uh, put in that chest. So there we have it. First day complete. Let me just check the time here. So we're about 20 minutes in. We'll go a little longer here. Oh, I do want to make a, a shield as well. Um, wood shield requires scrap. So we got to get more scrap. All right, so off we go. We got this place marked, our first house. It's a spawn point in case we die. Let's just keep moving. Check something here. Sorry, bear with me a sec. I just have some notes on my other screen. Okay. So again, I want to hug the black forest. Okay, here's another structure. And more bees, that's awesome. So it's definitely profitable to run the meadows early in the game and collect bees. Okay, and that was enough to destroy the hive without even attacking it. Okay, and we'll just continue to hug the black forest. So it is morning time, it's just a little foggy. Oh, and the nice thing now is we do have the crude bow. So if I see deer, I can attack them and get the hide from them because we're going to need a lot of deer hide as well. Okay, we got another structure here. I hear bees. Crazy amount of beehives here. These guys chasing us. Okay, he's running away now. Nope, he's coming back. I do need to be careful here. I should eat. Let's get some meat and some stuff. So you can see meat um, gives huge bonuses to health and things. All right, now the beehive should fall. Or is it stuck on the tree? I don't know how it's still there. We'll use the uh, arrows then to take it out. That worked. Okay, the bees are angry. We just got to stay back for a minute. Okay, some more honey. All right. Um, let's see here. I guess we'll head up towards the boss. So he's across the river. We'll have to make a little raft. Okay, so we need to hunt deer is what we need to do. I'll keep hugging the forest. Oh, and I forgot to um, take down this workbench. So I don't really like it that it's so foggy. It's just hard to see, but it is what it is. Now, my health is ridiculous right now. It's 76. It's incredible for early game. So running into the Black Forest isn't going to be that risky as long as I don't go too deep into it. So I'll just run the edge for a little. 
Like, I hear some enemies. Yeah, like, I don't really want to fight them. Those are gray dwarfs. They're harder than the graylings. But my health and stamina is so high right now, I can afford to, like, run into them and then just run away. If anything, I'm just getting some good early game blueberries. Okay, so here's snow. We need to be careful there. We don't want to go to the mountain. Oh, a deer. We definitely want the deer. Okay, so that's the mountain biome. We're going to get out of there. And I'll mark that on my map later. But it's easy to tell because it's white on my map. Ooh, lots of boar. And those guys are still chasing me. I guess I'll have to take them out. Well, no. It's just a fight I don't want to take. Did I get the boar skin? Here it is. Leather scraps. So again, it's just a fight I I don't need to deal with right now. Those enemies are higher level than me. I could probably take them out, but um, it would take a while. Waste arrows, waste time. I'm just going to let my stamina fill up, and then I'm going to make a run for it, and they won't be able to keep up. So I have full stamina here. And I'm just going to run. And like I said, they, they won't be able to keep up with this speed. Okay, more mountain. Black forest. Skeletons. Let's go ahead and turn back to the meadow. Yeah, so here's meadow. And I think they're fighting each other now, too. Let's check the map. All right, I think I'll head back to the stones and then try to, um, I'll build like a little, okay, so there's one left behind me. I'll kill him. You can see how little damage we're doing with the club. He's just a much higher um, enemy than we're prepared for right now. I did see another boar here. Oh, it's a two-star boar. Okay, let's start heading back. I'm curious if the coast can if the coast is right up here. Let me double check that quick. Because I'd like to have an idea of this continent and the edge of it. So if I look at the map up north, there's ocean up there. And I'm curious if there's ocean down here. It's too foggy or we'd just be able to see. But at the end of the day, running through the meadows is the best thing to do right now because we need deer. We need to kill deer for the uh, trophies that you get from them, and we need the hide. So I think that is ocean. Yeah, I see it down there. That's ocean. We'll kill these three guys for their meat real quick since they're easy.
Oh, so I'm encumbered. Let's see, what can I drop? Sounds silly this early in the game, but I don't need to carry all that wood. I can get wood whenever I want it. Oh, so the bird wanted to talk to me about being encumbered and how that system works. So when you're carrying too much weight, um, it'll make you, well, extremely slow. Always collect berries. Berries are going to be used uh, in later game recipes. So if you see them, they're red. The bushes are more green than normal. Okay, we're just going to hug the coast here. And look for deer. Here's a structure. Free arrows, free feathers. And if I needed wood, I could disassemble that structure for more wood. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, so this is another... Yeah, this is another boss summoning. Um, so the one, the one way to summon the boss is over here. We can also summon the boss here. So I'll mark this. Wait, why won't it let me... There we go. Um, e K Thur. Okay, so we can actually summon him here as well, um, which is nice because then we don't need to cross the river. We have one deer trophy. We need two to summon him. Um, so all we really need is to hunt some deer, and then we can take out the first boss. So let's continue to run around the coast here looking for deer, boar, things like that. We're probably passing up a lot of deer that we just can't see because it's so foggy. I'm going to go ahead and eat again. I don't really like how the enemies explode after you kill them. It just seems weird. It's, I feel like the items should drop immediately. Okay, still looking for deer. I'm not having much luck with those. Lots of boar, though, but boar are common. So I do have enough leather scrap now to make a shield, um, but I need a workbench uh, and a structure to do that. Oh, here's a deer. Never get too close to them. Aim high. You'll be fine. Usually killing the one scares off the next. But luckily, in that case, it didn't. Except I'm a terrible shot. Oh, nice. Took that one out. Come on. Oh, I wanted to get three. That would have been awesome. Oh, good. We did get a trophy. So we can fight the next boss now. Um, and here is a structure that I can use to make a shield. Although it's not, there is no roof, so never mind. I could make a roof. I could do that quick. So I just take uh, the workbench here, place it down, and then um, some roof. And that might count. I might need to put a wall on the side here yet. Let's see if this counts. Yep. 
so we can make a wooden shield. Um, I can make, can I make another chopping block? Yep. And then what can I upgrade? I can upgrade the wood shield and the crude bow. Okay. And then I'll just disassemble the chopping block and the workbench because I'm done with it. And let's head back to the ball spawner and we'll fight the boss and that'll be the end of the episode. So we only need two deer trophies. Um, I could have made fire arrows. You know what? Let's make fire arrows real quick. I don't need them, but I want to teach you guys you know, tips and tricks and fire arrows would be better for the boss. So we're going to put down a workbench again. And what do we need for fire arrows? Level two and we need resin. Okay, so we actually don't have enough resin anyway. Um, I could go ahead and farm it, but it's not needed right now. This boss is easy, so. But anyway, you get resin for um, killing gray dwarves and, or graylings, I mean, and also uh, chopping trees. That Usually you're going to have so much resin. I just haven't been chopping trees because I don't need the wood. I haven't made a big structure yet. Uh, so for the boss, we just want to eat our best food, so I'm going to eat some more meat. Um, we want our best arrows, which right now is flint head. I should have repaired my club, but that's fine. And we're good to go. So we're just going to run to the boss altar. Just getting some berries along the way. Going to let my stamina fill back full for the fight and then yeah we just select the two um, deer trophies and we walk up to the altar and we're gonna select the trophies all right so here comes the boss i like to use my bow if we run out of arrows we'll switch to something else but i like to use the bow So he shoots like a lightning at you. You just kind of have to get out of the way. There's the lightning. It's stamina management. You need to make sure you don't run out of stamina. But you can see even these flint arrows are doing pretty good damage. So there he hit me pretty good. And kind of use the rock to my advantage here. Oh, I missed there. That stinks. So I literally just have the starting armor in the game. No armor upgrades. And you can see he's not hitting that hard. Just manage your stamina. Try to get accurate hits in. Looks like I can eat again, so I'm going to do that. Se uh, seven. Oh, I'll eat some honey, actually. Because the honey regenerates your health. I should have mentioned that earlier. Um, so now my health is going to regenerate faster. I just keep kiting him, getting hits in. He's going to go down soon. So when I'm low on stamina like this, I just keep walking slowly. I'll run since he's right next to me now, but... Mostly try to let the stamina replenish so I can get my bow active again. 
most of these boss fights are like um, a war of attrition. Take your time. Alright, I'll just face tank him there and he's down. Alrighty, so we get the hard antler and the trophy. Make sure you pick those up. So we got three hard antlers, we got his trophy, and we're going to take that to the stones. So we'll do that real quick. It's nighttime, I apologize for the darkness. I'm just going to talk to the bird. So what happens is when you defeat a boss, uh, you're going to get the boss's trophy. These stones on the map here are where we spawned in. Um, as you defeat bosses, you bring the trophies back to the stones as an offering. Or I don't know if it's as an offering, but it's where you keep your trophies. You can see there's a lot more grayling spawning at night. Um, but we're going to hang the trophy there, and it's going to give us a special ability because we defeated the boss and we hung the trophy. And the special ability is going to be uh, to run fast. Our stamina will not deplete as quickly when we run and jump. I think I got too close to that deer. That's too bad. We still need to kill a lot of deer for its hide. Okay, so here's the um, the spawn point where we spawned in. All these hooks. We're going to hang the um, trophy there. And then we press E to activate the power. And now we have a new ability. You can see in the bottom left where it says ready. If I hit F, it's going to activate the ability. And now we can run. Uh, I'll, you can see while I'm running, my stamina is barely going down. And when I jump, the stamina doesn't go down as much. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run back to our home, our first home. Uh, and I believe there's still a bed and a campfire there, so that's perfect. And I activated the ability. So this is actually a very good start. We got a house right next to the Black Forest. Um, we defeated the first boss. We have the hard antlers that we got from the boss. Those hard antlers are going to be used to make a pickaxe. And we basically just graduated to the next tier of the game where we're going to have a pickaxe. And we can start um, mining copper. But first, let's get to our house. Oh, great. So that's a shaman. He's uh, something we shouldn't be fighting yet. But with bow, I think we're okay. Got a lot of food. Yeah, see, he's going to heal himself. Go finish him with the club. Alright, hopefully we didn't make too much noise. And we can get into this house. So here's our house. And let's sleep for the night. There's enemies nearby. Okay, now it's letting us sleep. So perfect. We're about 45 minutes in. Beat the first boss. Have a nice little house. Barely built anything. That's fine. Um, all our possessions are with us. Uh, next episode, I will decide on where we're actually going to build our big house. Um, and it's probably going to be right down here on the shore because it's going to have quick access to Black Forest, um, quick access to beach, um, maybe actually over here in this clear area might even be better. But see, we're going to be getting copper over here in the Black Forest, and we don't want to have to carry it really far back to the house. So we don't want our house up here, you know, by the stones. But this is perfect. I might build the house down at this peninsula. Um, 
what we'll do first actually before we build the house we're going to unload items into chests here so we have low carrying weight and we're actually going to run the entire black forest next episode and scout it and find out where all the copper is if we know where the copper deposits are let's say there's like three right down here then that would be perfect we'd build the house right here and we'd be set if there's copper up over here maybe we'll build that, the house up here so we'll see but yeah i hope this video has been helpful uh, i'm going to continue the series i'm going to keep going at a fast pace uh, again i'm not going to skip content but i'm going to um, do the minimum uh, to progress so thanks a lot for watching i'll see you guys in the next episode